Hi everybody, I'm Doug Miles along with Ed Schneider. We're here at Ivrig Field on the campus of Sarasota High School where the Matthew Hurricanes have just defeated the Sarasota Sailors tonight 35-20 to in another big district matchup tonight. And uh, Ed, it uh, looked like it was going to be uh, a much better performance by the Sailors if you go by uh, the first uh, series of the game for Sarasota. They came right down the field. Uh, the quarterback, Sean Hurley, did a great job of uh, doing a lot of the running himself out of the shotgun. They did not score on that opening drive, but uh, they did capitalize uh, the next series, which Manatee had the ball, got an interception. And Terrell Brown ran it in 30 yards for the touchdown. Settlers went up 6 to nothing. Uh, but after that, the Canes uh, got their game going, and it was pretty much Canes the rest of the way. Well, uh, if you look at the first half uh, statistics, uh, Manatee had uh, five possessions, scored three touchdowns on long drives, uh, while Sarasota, uh, after the initial touchdown off the interception uh, and the missed field goal off their first drive, could only amass another 62 yards on four additional drives in the first half uh, to end up with 107 first half yards in total, uh, and that led to the score at halftime being 21 to six in favor of Manatee. Breon Carnes, the outstanding quarterback for the Canes, had another great game. Uh, running for a touchdown tonight, a 56-yard run for him, also threw for a touchdown. One of the highlights of the game was uh, Mike Blakely starting off the third quarter, a 91-yard touchdown kickoff return down the near sideline, electrifying uh, the Manatee crowd that was here tonight. He also had a touchdown earlier in the game from five yards out. And Ed, when you look at this offense of the Canes, I had a chance to see them last week against Lakewood Ranch. I don't see really any team that can stay with them matching score for score. You're really going to have to shut them down early in the game to have any chance. Well, but the only thing I can see about Manatee is they, tonight at least, they did not play four full quarters of football. Uh, you know, but they did get up 35-6, to six, uh, and they sort of relaxed a little bit. I'm sure their coach, Joe Canan, is going to have something to say about that this week in practice as they prepare for next week's opponent. Uh, but uh, you got to give Sarasota credit. Uh, Manatee comes right out with the opening kickoff of the second half, as you mentioned, uh, runs it back for a touchdown, puts the Sailors down 28-6. to Later, Sarasota goes up 35-6, to and that should be the ball game, but the Sailors didn't quit. Uh, they fought back in the fourth quarter, actually outplayed Manatee in the fourth quarter, even though the Manatee starters were in the entire game. Uh, they narrowed the gap to 35-14, including a two-point conversion play that was nice. Uh, and then on the final play of the game, uh, give Sean Hurley credit, a quarterback keeper. Uh, he went down the sideline, uh, was a, uh, had a defender that had an angle on him, cut, cut it back towards the middle, was able to score a touchdown, a 56-yard run, matching the 56-yard run of Breon Carnes of Manatee. Uh, and that's how we got to the final score, 35-20. Sarasota didn't win the game, but they didn't quit. you got to give them a lot of credit for that. They did make some nice improvements this week from their last game against Northport, uh, where they had 18 penalties for 152 yards. They had at the most a handful of penalties tonight, so great improvement in that area. They only had two turnovers, both in the first half, one fumble, uh, a late call that we thought the ball was down by Sean Hurley, and one interception. Uh, other than that, they didn't turn the ball over in the second half. That's the other area that they need to continue to improve in. Uh, so with those two improvements in mind, I think they have a real shot next week if they put it all together to travel up to Manatee County and uh, defeat a, a good Southeast team. There was homecoming here tonight, so some good uh, uh, festivities here with uh, some of the old uh, Sailor players coming back, going back to, I believe, 1947, this rivalry. They've been playing each other for 86 years here in Sarasota and Manatee County. So it's always a great uh, a fan uh, of time here at, at whenever these two teams meet up, either here or at Manatee. So it was a lot of fun tonight. But at least uh, at the end of the game, like you said, Sean Hurley's touchdown run gave the fans something to hang their hat on for next week's game against Southeast. The Sailors right now with a record of one up and four down, one and one in the district. Manatee remains undefeated at 5-0, and 1-0 in district play. Well, you give the Sailors some credit. They played the ninth-ranked 5A team in the state. Uh, while they didn't come out a winner on the scoreboard, uh, they proved that they can play uh, with the top teams in the state, uh, and that should give them some confidence going into next week, and hopefully they'll be able to come away with a victory at Southeast. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in each week as we have our post-game shows here on uh, YouTube, also Fandome.com. Thank you for tuning in each week, MaxPreps.com as well, and the Sarasota Herald Tribune a prep football site. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in each week. We're all over the web, Doug. All over the place, and uh, we're getting recognized, Ed. Uh, getting lots of hits uh, <laughs> at all the different spots. We appreciate you all for taking the time to uh, watch the videos, uh, try to get our perspective on the exciting Florida football here in Sarasota, and uh, we look forward to uh, uh, more views uh, in the future. 
Final score once again, Manatee Hurricanes 35, Sarasota Sailors 20. For Ed Schneider, this is Doug Miles saying thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week. Good night.